If you would like to know how I achieved this simple but elegant look, join me for this chit chat GRWM. Get ready with me. Coming up. Hello, Fadistas, and welcome to my channel, 50 Something. My name is Bernice. On this channel, I give you fitness, health, and lifestyle for women over 50. So if you're a woman over 50 and that interests you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, but don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any time I upload and come back every week for new videos. I am going to be telling you, this is also a story time because it's going to be telling you the time that we missed our plane in Atlanta. So I'm going to start, I've already washed my face and um, I've put on my moisturizer and look, you're going to see these nails. See these nails? I had these French tips done whenever my son got married and I've also been painting, painting, painting because if you know my story from last year, we got ripped off. I'll put the, the video so that you can see and um, so now we've had a new contractor. We've been painting our house to save money. And um, so I've been doing a lot of hard work and I lost a nail, cracked a nail, but I haven't taken it off yet. So if you see my nails looking crazy, that's because of that. But anyway, so moisturizer's on. First thing I like to put on is a primer. And I'm not gonna show you all the um, products that I use, but I will put the links in the description if you want to check them out because they are not officially sponsoring this video so I like to put a primer on and I put it on the tip of my fingers and then I like to work it in and I like to work it in throughout my whole face because I'm getting ready to put um, the makeup on and the other thing is get your hair out of the way right get your hair out of the way while you're doing that and then we can fix it later. But get a little bit of primer. And um, so, to, yeah, to tell the story, we had a family reunion in Florida. And we left Florida. We had a rental car. And we went to Atlanta. And we have family in Atlanta. So we went to spend some time with them. And um, after we had wonderful time with family, it was time to drive, fly back to Missouri. So that meant that we were leaving our rental car at the airport in Atlanta. So now my, my primer is completely on. And what I love about the primer is that it doesn't go on greasy at all. It is just completely dry when you're done putting that on. So once you're done with the primer, um, get your beauty blender and make sure it's a little wet. Something I've learned from the young people, make sure it's a little wet. And then you want to put your, um, your foundation on. And like I said, I will put the link to all of these products in the description. But put your foundation on and work it. Just work it work it through so yeah so we needed to leave the the rental car at Atlanta Airport and listen I'm from Kansas City and our airport is so simple now I gotta say that they are in the process of redoing our airport or renovating it so it'll be like those big airports but for now it's very simple, our, our airport. You go in there and you get your ticket and the gate is right there. One level, like you can just a few steps outside and you're, you're right there. You know, if you were at the ticket counter, you could just take a few steps and you're right outside. And same thing with baggage claim. But now it's going to change in the next year or two. So um, anyway, in Atlanta your your car where your car is is a whole building different from where 
your uh, terminals are. And so you have to take a train. And we gave ourselves plenty of time ahead of time. We went two hours. Um, once you've worked it through really well, now you notice I have some dark spots, right? I've got dark spots on my nose and I've got a little bit of dark spots under my eyes. So I take my concealer and I put a little bit on the back of my hand and everybody does things differently, you can see. And I take that and start to dab it where my dark spots are on my nose. And then I dab it right under my eyes because um, for those of us that are over 50, it helps. It helps with the wrinkles. It helps when we lighten down there. It just helps us look a little bit younger. So I like to do that. And then you work through it. And those are the only places that I put the concealer. And then I'll show you a little bit after where I put the concealer to highlight my eyebrow. But I don't, I don't put it on my nose. You know, I don't want a shiny nose. Those of us that are over 50, we don't like that shiny Rudolph nose. So we just dab it, dab it. We want to look as natural as possible, you know? Like I said, I put it there and then I work it through. So as I was saying, yes, yeah, so the, where we dropped off the car, it was a whole building, beside the airport, mind you, but Atlanta airport is huge. And like I said, we gave ourselves plenty of time. So we would get to the airport, um, get to our plane on time. Well, we, we finished, we dropped off the car, then we had to walk down this long hallway and um, go catch a train that'll take us to the terminals. Now you see how I've worked it in really well and the heat in your fingers also really helped considerably to work it in. So we catch the train and we get to the terminal. And I don't know if you've ever flown from Atlanta, but we're going through TSA and the line from TSA just snakes all the way through. I mean, it's long snaking lines. Um, so after you've worked it in really well, what I like to do is get another beauty blender I also like to wet this one. So I wet it, and then this time, mm -mm. this time I take my powder, right? So like I said, I'll put the link, and I'll get a little bit of the powder, because you don't want it to cake, and start dabbing. This is wet, and start dabbing the spots that I put my, the concealer on. So I start dabbing it in because I'm getting ready to use this powder on my entire face. But I want to work the concealer on top of the concealer. Um, but I don't want it to look caked and creasy. So I just work it in. And I have another video and I will put the description. I mean, I'll put the link in here on how to cover my dark circles. And you can watch that. And that doesn't have the story time. But... So anyway, I work that in and then I will get my brush and work the rest of my face so that the powder can fill, fill it in. Because I also have moles and I find out that that covers up my moles. So I'll take this and then I'll start working on the rest of my face. But anyway, so we get to TSA, long line. I have never seen where they have canine do the TSA check. That was the first time ever. So we're in the snake line and what they do is they come through with the canine and the canine is sniffing everybody. That's your TSA check. So we finish going through that. That was a really weird experience because like I said, that was the very first time I've, I had ever experienced that. So we finish going through that and then we get to the TSA agents where 
you have to um, show your boarding pass, right? And I'm trying to be more up to date in doing this um, electronically on my phone. And it is the QR code. So I give my QR code, widen it up, give it to the lady, she scans it. Okay, now, I've worked all the way through and as you can see, I have very good coverage at this point. So the next thing I want to do then is to do my eyebrows. And I found this great hack and it is a stencil that you can get. And I think it's about 10 of them. You can get it at Walmart. It's an e.l.f. product. Um, and I like the shape of this because it's not too boxy. It makes me, it makes it look more natural. So I use that and I will take my eyebrow. And like I said, I'll put all the products in the description, but they are not sponsoring it. So, um, and yeah, hook me up. Um, you can definitely get in contact with me if you're, you see your product in there and you want to sponsor a future video. I'm all for it. Hit your girl up. Okay, so what I do then is put the stencil over my eyebrows. And look, when God was giving out eyebrows, somehow I got the leftovers. So I don't have a whole lot of eyebrows. <laughs> so it, I paint it in. Make sure I get it really well and paint it in. What I found out too, if I get it too dark, especially when I'm gonna be on camera, you can't even, it doesn't look Groucho Marx. Like you can't, if you don't know who Groucho Marx is, look it up. <laughs> you can't really tell. So see, I've done the first one. You see the difference? It looks a lot more natural. It doesn't look like boxed in, right? So then I flip it over. What I like about these stencils is I can actually wipe them off and reuse them, even though there's 10 in a package. So what I do is I find myself, I will um, use, use it and throw it away, use it and throw it, and then it gets to the very last one. And then instead of going to buy one, I would just wipe them. <laughs> Until I get really tired, oh, it looks really bad that I go buy another one. Anyway, let's do the other eye and work it in and see what that looks like. Sometimes if you move your hand out of the way, you'll end up smearing it so it won't, you know, won't come out exactly right, but you can just clean it off and do it again. That's, that's the way it goes. I think I may have moved this slightly. I just want to get it dark enough. Get ready with me. I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while. Now see, I have both perfectly and I don't really have to worry about it looking crazy. So I have my eyebrows and then I'm going to work on my eyeliner. So I grab my eyeliner. And I'm gonna go under my eye. I'm not all the way in the corner, I don't need that. So I'll start here and then just kind of work ever so lightly. And then I extend it up to the corner because I wanna have that. For women our age, it gives us a little bit of a facelift. So I'll come over here and do the same thing. Not all the way in the corner of the eye. and then extend this tail. And then I'll show you in a minute what I want to do with that tail. And then on the top, I come Now, it's forgiving in the top if you use a lot, you know? Maybe it's a little bit forgiving. Cuz I'm about to
I don't know, something's going on. I can't, I can't keep this eye open to do this one. Almost as if I can't see. Did I lose a contact? <laughs> oh, I don't know. With this eye, it looks like I can't see. I may have lost the contact and I don't even know it. Cause it, it looks weird. It's just like, I, it's blurry. Let's see, do I have a contact in there? I don't think I have a contact in there. I lost it somehow. Oh well. So I do that. I'll have to find my contact later. And then with a darker, with a darker eyeshadow, right? We're gonna take that and we're gonna work just the top of this. And that corner that we have. We've turned it up, right? We're just gonna work it up to that corner. All right? And same thing with this side. Yeah, this side I can see because I think my contact's in my right eye, but not my left eye. Oh, the joys of being blind. All right, so she scans it, scans my QR code on my phone, Remember, I didn't say, but I'm, I was traveling with my daughter and my husband. And my husband had long gone. He's, he's ahead of us. He's gone. He was in a different line. And my daughter was right in front of me. And it looks like she's getting her stuff. And I scanned it. The lady scanned it, and it didn't go through. And see, it, it may seem crazy, but it isn't. It it really works to lift your face, especially if you're a woman over 50. And you can tell this is already shaping up. Um, and so, and it's forgiving. So if you need to, you know, blend it with your fingers, if it's too, too choppy and you want to blend it a little bit with your fingers, you can. I'm not going to put any eye, I mean, eyeshadow on, but just this. And then um, she scanned it. It didn't go through. And she was like, sorry, ma'am. She's like, stand to the side, somebody else is coming. Um, and then I try to widen it, make it even bigger, gave it to her. She scanned it, she's like, sorry ma'am, it didn't work. I was like, oh my goodness, I made it smaller. I thought, well maybe I, it was blurry when I made it bigger. So I made it smaller, gave it to her. She's like, sorry ma'am. This time there are more people coming and going past me, mascara time going past me and as you can imagine i am freaking out my daughter is texting me it's like what's the hold up mom remember the line was so long to begin with and um we we had given ourselves like i said two hours ahead of time but now the time was dwindling we didn't have much time left and i'm standing there and the lady keeps telling me ma'am stand to the side i am freaking out I am totally freaking out. And um, I'm, I'm nervous at this time, just completely nervous. And you wanna go over this several times just to get it, but you don't want it to where it's clumpy. All right, and then on the top side, I come in and curl up like that before I go back up so let's do this side as well. Right? And then, and then I work it up. You don't want too much to where it's clumpy, but you want it to be spaced out. Now, those of you who do get your eyelashes, ex eyelash, ex eyelash, I can't say that, eyelash extensions, um, I have never done that. I see it and it's beautiful. Um, but I used to always have problems with the ones with the adhesive because I was allergic. And so I never did. And now that you can go to places and get it done, it's just, um, I haven't tried that. And they're so expensive. I, I really watch my money. <laughs> so um, I put on the mascara. And sometimes when you put mascara on, you might get, you know, a little bit of 
darkness, blend it in with your fingers. Your finger is like an amazing blender and you'll be amazed you don't even need eyeshadow. Even the little bit I've done so far is looking good, isn't it? So we're gonna contour and then, oh here, I wanted to show you how I highlight with the concealer. So I take the concealer. So at this time I'm freaking out, right? She, she scans it, I've done it larger, it doesn't work. And um, my daughter is, is texting me, she's like, let me send you your, your boarding pass. She sends me another one, it doesn't work. And you know that feeling that you get in your, the pit of your stomach? I kid you not, it was horrible. I had a lot of people have gone, had gone past me and um, the lady was saying, ma'am, if it doesn't work, you're gonna have to go to the kiosk and get, and get a paper one. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, with your finger, then I go in and I gently blend it underneath my eyebrow only because I want to give myself a highlight without having to use eyeshadow. But what I see people do is that they'll do underneath their, their eyebrow and then they'll do on top of their eyebrow and then the eyebrow stands out like crazy and you can see it just sticking out. It doesn't look good and nobody wants to say anything. But all you need to do is just to, if you're using a stencil, it's already formed perfectly. So all you're doing is just giving yourself a little highlight without using eyeshadow. And you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect, but it works. Look at that. You see the difference that it's already given me? So kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. It didn't work. Finally, my daughter, have you tried your, you try to brighten it. And she had been getting on me all the time that my phone was too bright, my phone was too bright. And she was like, you know, you're blinding people with that phone. So I kept it dimmer and I did not realize that I still had it dimmer. Okay, I will use this lipstick, but that's not what I'm going to necessarily put on and go around, except if I'm doing like a 60s themed indoor walking and I'll put that link here as well. But I will do this because it gives me this special two-toned look. So I will come behind it and put the lipstick that I'm gonna put on there. But I don't look, I don't leave it like that. I blend it in. I've gotten compliments on this and that's why I still do that because you want to blend it into where it has that shimmer on the inside and your lipstick is on the outside like that. Hopefully I got it blended in well. So after standing there for about 15 minutes and so many people passed me out. I don't know, 20 plus people pass me. I'm perspiring and I'm somebody who doesn't perspire profusely unless I'm working out. I'm perspiring. We're gonna contour and then we'll finish up this look. I finally, finally turn up the, the, the brightness. Okay, we use the darker one. And a person, as being a woman of color, my my choices are going to be darker, a lot darker. And of course, I'm not also I'm not of a lighter skin tone. So my my choice is going to be darker. But at the end of the day, when you blend it in, it should look natural and it should not look, you know, like you have a separate thing going on. So at first, I will put the darker one, and then there's always a medium. There's always like three tones. So I'll put the medium one here. Okay, on top. And and some of you use more the cream um, contours or highlighters and that's fine. And then finally the third one, the lightest one, which I'll go ahead and 
So I'll put them in like layers like that and then I'll blend them in together. I remember one time I had this on and I hadn't blended it in and my husband came in and he was like, um, your, your makeup. And I was like, yeah, that's not how I'm going out. You've never seen me go out this house looking like this. So anyway, so I finally turned up the, the brightness and it goes through. Oh my gosh, after all that freaking out, after wasting time, it goes through. So I get, we go through the, the x-ray the machines with the bags and finally run. My daughter was like, you know, I, my daughter was waiting on me. So we run thinking, okay, my husband's ahead. We run. We're there, right? We're right there. They're getting ready to close the gate. And we're like, can we please? And they're like, I'm sorry, you're too late. Really? Really? So we thought, okay, it's a good thing. My husband, our bags are gone, right? And my husband is, is also gone. So he'll at least be with our bags. All right, so once you've blended it in, now I can work on getting my hair. Ooh. What is that? Getting my hair kind of fixed. And just I'm just using my fingers because it's curly and I don't really have to work that hard for it. So what do you think? It looks pretty good, huh? So anyway, so we were like, okay, my husband is gone and um, he'll be with our bags. And we were dejected, so we were going to get our ticket changed and we're walking down and who comes down the hallway? The terminal? But my husband, he had not gotten on the plane either. He went to the restroom and he missed it as well. So we all missed it, but our bags made it. And we were able to get on a plane a couple of hours later and get to go home to Kansas City and our bags were waiting for us off to the side, you know, where they have the office, where they put off to the side. And so, <sighs> Atlanta um, Airport, if you have a rental, you have to drop off. Give yourself at least three hours. <laughs> and always make sure if you're using your phone, Always make sure it's bright if you're using that, if you're scanning it. <laughs> so that is what I learned. Oh my gosh. Anyway, let me know since I talked about eyelashes. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you would like for me to try some eyelash extensions. But what do you think? Not bad. Tyron Banks. I can smize too. <laughs> oh. So don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And also subscribe because I come out with new videos every week. I have indoor walking videos, I have strength training videos, and I have also because it's, it's fitness, health, and lifestyle for women over 50, I also have these type of videos.